San Jose, your town, my town, our city, San Jose and our Santa Clara Valley communities. But what is San Jose? Who is it? Why is it? Is it first in Santa Clara streets at noontime? Or is it uh, St. James Park in the summer? Is it the old City Hall Plaza? The beautiful Rose Garden that's so rightly famous here? Or would it be to you the State College? Or one of our beautiful residential districts with its stately homes? Or our public buildings with their impressive architecture? or the historic Santa Clara Mission and the University. No, it's not just one, is it? All of these things put together are part of the place we call home, San Jose. But how did these scenes get here? How did this great city grow? People came before the city. It took lots of people to build our town. When we got enough of them, we grew up, and San Jose became a city. But first, it required people. The merchant. The baker. Businessman, the waitress, the bus driver, the cannery worker, the school teacher. A representative from every walk of life came to make up what we proudly call home. It started with people, and it will always be people. Not just you, not just your neighbor or me, but all of us. We are the community of San Jose. We each in our own circle depend on our friends, our neighbors, our co-workers, the people we pass on the street to make, keep, and preserve our homes, our city, and our jobs. We are all each in his own part, each with his own importance and responsibility, each with his kindness and understanding and temperament, the community, of San Jose. How many times in your own garden have you nursed and coddled a tender plant to make your home more beautiful? Or maybe fixed a leaking water faucet to make your home more comfortable, more efficient? or repaired or polished your car to make your ride more pleasurable. Some of these things we've all done at some time or another, and in some form or other. And why can't we give the help to ourselves as a community that we do to ourselves as individuals? Not just the leaking water faucet, perhaps, or a car that's in need of repair. It's more than that but rather the human element. The human element that offers the even more rewarding satisfaction of human kindness and humility. By feeling and acting upon our responsibility to the city we live in, we can, through our efforts, fix this human element that is in need of repair, and in many cases advance the remedy before the repair is the necessary step. 
And the channel through which we do this, as a community, is the community chest. Why is the community chest? And who is it? Neighbor? Businessman? Waitress? Baker? Merchant? Cannery worker? You, Mr. and Mrs. Citizen, you are the community chess. It's your responsibility for your community, for your home, for yourself. Now, we've all heard about New York slums, about the dangerous underworld elements that have their beginnings there. But these are scenes taken in your community. Conditions like these breed delinquency and disease that infect the entire community and become a community responsibility. Now, you may not be able to change the environment, but you can give the children who live here the health service and the opportunity for wholehearted recreation that they do not have at home. When the community fails in its responsibilities to underprivileged children, everybody suffers. However you answer the basic needs of youth and fill their idle hours, give them activity, companionship, make them feel equal, wanted, needed, your town, your home, you will be the better for it. The mother who must work, now what of her child? And who will care for him? Happily, safe, supervised care can be supplied by you, the community chest, through one of several Red Feather agencies. However, there are other problems. What about divorce? Quarrels and misunderstandings. These lead to broken homes and to community problems. Many a couple has been saved from divorce because there's a marriage counseling service in your city to help them understand and solve the problems which threaten their marriage, the basic foundation of our society. And what helped them? Helped your community. And it helped you. Or it may be illness with its need for a skilled visiting nurse service. Again, you can help through your red feather services. Man is not technically a member of our community. He is here for only a few brief hours. But the daughters of our community are members. They are our direct responsibility. And so is the visiting serviceman merely by his presence. Care for girls in trouble and unmarried mothers is an important community need, one that we must meet wisely or run the risk of letting our young people drift into unhappy, broken, tangled lives. We must not fail them. We must not fail them when they need us most. How much better the ounce of prevention. And we can provide this through wholesome, supervised entertainment where young people can meet freely in an atmosphere of friendly, Wholesome fellowship. 
This is an important part of our responsibility to men in the service, as well as to the young people of our own community. A responsibility that, again, we can meet through the community chest. And finally, what of the child who is orphaned and alone? Have you looked into the eyes of a child who had no one to care about her? Felt that longing and emptiness of being unwanted? Have you ever craved the attention that only an understanding and loving parent gives as bond to his child? These children have the right of every child born to live, to grow, and to make their place. And what of them? They require so much more because so much has been denied them. But can they, standing alone in an adult world, have even enough? Not the much more they need, but even enough. Small wonder that in their loneliness and despair, many rebel against the world, become problem children. For whence will come the necessary love, the affection, the understanding? Can we not, through human kindness, accept the responsibility of these, our children. Can we not band together into one unit to be the parents of these children, to give the sympathy, the understanding, the comfort and kindness that we give our own children? Yes, it's a job we must do and can do if we all work together. For the good of the child. For the good of a friend. For the good of your community. Not the least, for the good of yourself. Thine own self be true, and it must follow as the night the day, thou canst not then be false to any man. The community chest, all 22 agencies need you. You need them. Do your part. Give your share. Lend your help now.